this is our third episode in our bucket list series. And if you look at the map, you'll see that we're able to explore a lot of different sites. And already we've been able to cross off quite a few new species from our species bucket list. A lot of which I knew was in town, but I just had to find it. And some of which I didn't even know existed here in the Philippines. So now we are just getting our gear together, our dive gear, our cameras. And we're gonna go out and do a lot more exploring and hopefully be able to cross a lot more critters from our critter bucket list. So thank you guys for joining. Let's get in the water. As soon as we put our heads underwater, I realized that today was going to be a really bad visibility kind of dive. And this was the first time diving with these lights, and they came in handy as kind of a tripod in the sand for a really steady shot of this hermit crab. And I usually like to try to get the entire critter in the video and not cut off the edges. But because the visibility was so bad, I just needed to get close up so there's less particles between the lens and the critter itself. So for whatever reason, people really love puffer fish. I get a lot of comments saying, show us a puffer fish next. Can you film puffer fish? What kind of puffer fish are there? And to be honest, there's a lot of puffer fish here. I've just always kind of ignored them because I wasn't really interested in the things that were most common. But remembering all those commenters that wanted to see puffer fish, I started filming the ones I seen just on this dive, including this longhorn cowfish. Toby puffer fish are everywhere. I'm sure they've been in other episodes as well, but these guys are just probably the most common puffer fish in this area at least. And if you've ever seen the little documentary called Puff on Netflix, this is the species that they were filming. These guys are just absolutely everywhere on pretty much every dive site I've been to here in the Darwin area. And they're usually not shy at all, so. They're pretty fun to film. Every time Judea joins me on a dive, she really likes filming nudie pranks. And I saw her filming one now. It was actually a pretty rare nudie prank that we don't often see here. It's not the first time I've seen it, and it's not on my critter bucket list, but it is a really cool find. Something that I don't know if I've ever seen here on the house reef in front of the shop. These guys are why everybody loves nudie prank. There are just so many varieties when it comes to colors, textures, patterns, body shapes, and they're just so interesting and always cool to find. It's no wonder that most of our guests at the dive center always ask if we can find nudie prank for them. And to be honest, growing up in Colorado, if you would have told me that as an adult, I would spend most of my time filming little sea slugs under the water, I would have thought you were crazy, but here I am. Nudie break might be a massive favorite for most divers, and leaf sheep are a massive favorite among nudie break. These guys are so cool, and I filmed them in who knows how many episodes already, because I always see them all over Dowan area, just living on the side of these little leaves. Of course, there are a variety of leaf sheep. It's not just one species, contrary to what some people think. It's no wonder people don't know a lot about these because they're so tiny. This one in particular is smaller than a BB from a BB gun, and they can be hard to find out in the middle of the ocean. On the opposite end of the size spectrum for nudie prank are these Elysia nudies, which are not technically nudie prank. They're actually sea slugs, but still in the same family. And of course we included them in our last book about nudie prank. When I say they're on the opposite end of the size spectrum as the leaf sheep, well, leaf sheep are about the size of a BB or smaller, where this guy is about an inch or two long. They get pretty decent in size and a lot easier to find. Oddly, I found another Elysia species of nudibranch, and it's an undescribed species. 
It's pretty cool and one that I've never seen before. It looks like it's all velvety or algae like. This is a popular and kind of common sighting here in Darwin. It's the white variety of what is commonly known as the Pikachu nudie. It looks like a Pikachu from Pokemon. So here in front of the dive shop, we have a whole bunch of these jawfish. They're just hiding in their little holes. But we did get to see a lot. No matter how bad the visibility was, the critters are always there. All right, we are gonna call that episode. Sometimes people like really short episodes, so we're gonna do that today because we have some really good dives coming up. This dive, yesterday, oh man, I, it's my automatic reaction to say, that was an amazing dive, because it's always an amazing dive. Uh, but this really wasn't an amazing dive. Uh, like I said, we had some typhoons going over, and we got like the rainy, wavy thing for a week from that and the visibility is just horrible so yeah a bad day of diving is still better than a good day in the office and and even on our worst day ever where we couldn't use the insta 360 or any of that because it was such bad visibility we're still able to find so many critters so way more than we could film in this episode even if this was a four hour episode uh, so if you guys want to see all the little species we see on every dive, uh, Judea puts them in, into little short clips on our social medias like Instagram and Facebook and stuff. So I'll put the links down below and you can follow that. We got some really cool episodes coming up where we go searching, not just here in Darwin, but doing some traveling. And we even are putting together group trips where you guys can come join us. Uh, so I'll put our website link down below. We have a couple of them already posted uh, and we're posting more. We're hoping to have at least five group trips available next year where you guys can join. So far we have Tubataha and um, Romblon and we're working on Japan, Komodo and Maldives. So I think it's going to be a really, really cool thing having you guys join us on dives. So. Anyways, if you guys watched the very end of this video, let me know by putting a dog emoji in the comments below. Oh.